Hey everybody. So today we're going to take a look at this nice little coaxium prop replica. So this is the prop that we saw in Solo, a Star Wars story. And um, I don't know, the movie uh, didn't get much, uh, you know, high praise, but I personally thought the movie was really good. I mean, I don't know, I, I really enjoyed it. And so uh, one of the main things that they show as a prop or everything everybody's after because it's worth so much is this stuff called coaxium. And so this, uh, I found this on eBay. A guy was making these and they are made out of machined metal and they are absolutely beautiful. You can see here there's like a brass, uh, these little fin pieces on the side. This is machined aluminum. Back here you can see the, the bottom of it. It's actually kind of like... Uh, you know, it actually goes inside, like it's inlaid into there. And over here you can see the screen. Like, I mean, it looks exactly like the prop we saw. And the, the prop actually gets quite a few close-ups in the movie, and several people are, are holding these things. Um, and so this one here is really neat because this actually comes out, and that's the little um, capsule that's on the inside. Now let me get a good shot of the uh, the little star thing in the middle. Okay, so I was trying to get the light on here just right because you can really see that little starburst piece in the middle. Look how good that shows up. So this is, um, they use that laser technique where they can actually engrave things inside glass. It actually fractures the glass from the inside. And that was the technique used on this. So that's why it'll catch the light at, like right there. It'll catch the light in certain angles. But I mean, this thing is really well done. These are machined metal uh, caps on here. And then you got, this is glass. I'm assuming that's glass. It's got to be. So, uh, yeah, let me show you another cool feature of this little capsule. Okay, so I had to kill the uh, key light here so I can show you this. So he actually put a light feature in here, which this is what this is. So when you turn this, it's got this really awesome, awesome blue glow in here. Now, I hope that this, this is probably getting washed out on the camera, unfortunately, but you can really see how cool that looks. So yeah, it uses button cell batteries. It's got the little twist um, knob for uh, turning it on and off. But you can really see how it catches the light right there. Looks just like it in the movie. And then when you have the uh, the actual piece right here, it goes on the side. And so just like in the movie, you can actually see it inside there. See that little screen? So I think it's really neat. You can actually see it down in there. So yeah, that looks really, really cool. That blue glow looks really good, especially in the dark. So yeah, beautiful piece. Um, yeah, this guy did a really great job. So he made a very limited run of these. Um, I can't remember how, I, I think, well, I don't know. I think he was selling just the uh, capsule if you want to buy just that, or uh, you can buy both pieces. And of course I wanted both because you want to get the whole, the whole thing in there. But um, yeah, I think it's really cool. He only made a certain amount of these, and then once they're gone, they're gone. He said he wasn't going to make any more. And as far as I know, he was still selling these on eBay. I think they're still available. But uh, I don't see them pop up on my, my eBay queue as much, maybe because I already bought one. So if you go look at it, just look up uh, Solo Coaxium Prop, and you should be able to find it. But uh, yeah, really, really nice piece. It's got some little bit of heft to it, and... All machine metal, just beautiful, beautiful piece, and I absolutely love that uh, that cool little cartridge thing on the inside. All right, well, just a little quick video here just to show you this, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a like and a subscribe if you'd like, and I appreciate you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. So thank you again, and have a good one.